Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how to fold a hyperbolic paraboloid. These are just fun shapes to make, but if you use pretty papers to make them instead, you can always hang them up as ornaments. All you're going to need is an A4 sheet of paper. Firstly, fold one corner diagonally so the edges line up, like so. Then cut off the excess paper, which is the single layer of paper that's just on the side. The result will be a square of paper. If you're starting with a square shape of paper, you can obviously skip this cutting step. Open out the fold and make another diagonal fold by joining together the two corners that are already folded. Make sure you press down on every fold to make them nice and crisp. Open out the fold and you should have a square with two diagonal valley folds that splits the paper into four triangles. What we're going to do is alternate valley and mountain folds in each of these triangles. To briefly explain the difference between valley and mountain folds, if you take a piece of paper and fold an edge towards you, that will create a valley fold, and if you fold that edge away from you, that will create a mountain fold. We'll be making valley folds on one side of the paper and then the other to create this effect. Right, so take the bottom edge and fold it upwards so it lines up with the centre where the diagonal folds cross. Also make sure the side edges line up. Note that you only want to press down on this fold between the diagonal folds. Then repeat this for the other three triangles. So fold over the bottom edge and line it up with the centre. Only press down on the fold between the diagonals. Then you need to fold over the bottom edge again, but this time you line it up with the fold you've just made. Only crease the paper between the diagonal folds. Repeat this in every one of the triangle shapes. So fold over the bottom edge, lining it up with the fold you previously made. Each triangle should now contain two folds. Next, fold over the bottom edge and this time line it up with the fold that's just past the centre point. Like so. Remember, as usual, to only crease the paper between the diagonal folds. Then repeat this all the way around. So fold over the bottom edge so it lines up with the fold just beyond the centre. And so on. You should now have three folds in each triangle and all of them should be valley folds. Now you need to flip over the piece of paper and we'll be making a fold in between all of these folds. So fold over the bottom edge so it lines up with the first fold. So just line it up with the fold nearest the edge. As usual, only crease the paper between the diagonal folds. Then repeat this on each edge. Next, fold the bottom edge over and this time line it up with the fold that's just this side of the centre point. Remember to only crease the paper between the diagonal folds. Then repeat this on every side. Then line up the bottom edge with the first fold past the centre point. and crease between the diagonals. Then repeat this on every side.
And lastly, line up the bottom edge with the second fold from the top edge, again only creasing between the diagonals. Then repeat this three more times. And that's it, all the folds are now complete. You just need to now recrease these folds. This can be a bit tricky along the diagonal folds, but it will all fit into place. Since the valley and mountain folds alternate, you'll get a concertina effect within each triangle, as you can see. Once you've squashed it flat, all of the creases should be nice and crisp. And then you can open it out and you'll have a hyperbolic paraboloid. As you can see, it's a very pleasing shape and you can kind of twist it along the diagonal folds. And that's it, that's how you make a hyperbolic paraboloid shape. I really hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching.